Hello, here's、um, a pleasant view. Let's play. It's been twenty years, seems years since I started this save, and now we're gonna tour like the main families to see what they've been up to in this past twenty years. And we're gonna start with the Goth family, which is basically,、um, well, Cassandra, Dan, and their children.、Um, Mortimer has passed away、um, quite a long time ago. He's buried in the in the graveyard. So here we are in the golf mansion.、Um, yeah, Mortimer is right over there in the graveyard. He passed away, unfortunately. I mean,、um, at the beginning of the of the save,、um, he tried to get married、um, with Dina. By the way, she, her here she is, but、uh, she rejected him, and so he stayed in the golf mansion with Cassandra and Dan, and well, he died.、Um, Cassandra is here; she's going to work, I believe. Oh yeah, she's taking the car.、Um, so I play with、um, one same day equals to one year. So Cassandra here is six days away. Um, to become an elder, so she's fifty-four.、Um, okay, let's go play. She's fifty-four.、Uh, um, well, you know, she's a family sim. She works in the science career, level five as a project leader. She got married with Don, who's at work at the moment. Is he's two years younger, so he's fifty-two. And they've had two kids, Bella here and Homer, who are just punching each other.、Mm, Bella is seventeen. She's going to college. She wants to go to college, so she's going to college today. And Homer, Homer is fourteen.、Um, Still in high school. He's doing incredibly great. A plus Bella on the other side is not doing so, so good. Let's see how it goes for her in college. They're just playing some pool.、Uh, they're both popularity sims.、Um, Bella is now in a relationship with Orlando Bertino. She's quite popular. She has many friends. She's a Gemini, very much like her father, Sloppy, and so on. And Homer, also popular to him, he's in a relationship with Carol Gast, and yeah, he's also well not as popular as his sister, but anyway. Um, so、uh, it's been twenty years, as I said.、Uh, the Goth Mansion、um, doesn't have many changes. Basically, it's pretty much the same as in the beginning of the of the of a new save. Well. They've got this TV, which I don't remember. I don't think I bought them. I think it was,、um, you know, when they're going going go out on a date and it's a great date, and then they get gifts. I think this was a gift from a date. Stairs. So this main bedroom is、um, Don and Cassandra's. And well, I put another set of stairs here. What used to be Alexander's room is now Homer's room. Now this room used to be、um, Mortimer's room. It's、uh, then it was a nursery, and now I have them as like a sort of family room with a pool and you know the easel and all this stuff, like a yeah game room. Bella loves the, the pool. Then upstairs,、uh, I've yeah, this is Bella's room. Um, here is where、um, Isol used to be, and then I created her room up here when she was a toddler, because、uh, Alexander was still in the、um, in this house, so he was living here, and Mortimer was living here. So I made her room upstairs, and then this is the the terrace.、Mm, this is the Goth family now. So Bella is going to take a shower, and then. Um, she doesn't qualify for any scholarship, so he she's now going to、um, move to college. Look at Homer, he's 
having such a great time playing the piano. I don't understand why they keep doing this, that they put the jar even when they're at home. Like, no one's gonna tip you at your home in your pajamas. Um, so, move to college. Yeah, nothing. Mm, bummer. Go say goodbye to your sister. And there she goes. Bye. Bye, looking at the wall. This is the God family, and we're gonna... After the God family, we're gonna have a look at the Caliente sisters. So now let's have a look at the Caliente sisters. Um, Dina is living in her condo, as usual, and Nina, she left pretty soon, and she moved to the much better pleasant Vista apartments and she's living uh, here there she is as you can see she has a boy okay let's have a look first at uh, Dina and her son Tony so Dina at the beginning um, you know the story is supposed to go like she wants to get married to a rich sim and she's in a relationship with Mortimer Goth. However, I don't know why in this safe she didn't want to get married. I mean, he proposed, but she said no. She kept seeing other sims and going out on dates. And of course, who else but Don Lothario, who is in, um, basically flirting and going on dates with the whole neighborhood. And one of those dates, they did their thing. And through, I, I'm using ACR, and so in one of those risky woohoos, um, she got pregnant, and she had Tony Caliente. Is here? That's creepy. And um, yeah, so this is the um, one side of the Caliente family. Dina, um, you know, I play one sim day equals one year, and so. She's becoming an elder in 15 days, so she's 45 right now. And uh, Tony is um, four days away, 14. Okay, she's, you know, a 14, a 14 sim. She works uh, in the um, intelligence career, level six, as a rookie field agent. She's doing quite well. And um, I believe she has a secondary aspiration yes pleasure of course i think nina has a secondary pleasure as well i don't remember i think so uh but she's very career oriented she always wants to build up skills and get promotions she's been also going out with a lot of people um i don't know when this happened i don't remember i think this was autonomous flirting with daniel but anyway um of course, she's being with Dan, the father of her child. No one knows that Tony is the, the child of Dan. He, he wears the Caliente surname. She's also being with Dustin Brogue. But yeah, we'll get to Dustin and Angela and all the drama that um, went there. Malcolm... This is interesting. So she uh, want, uh, had the, the want once of uh, getting married. Well, she has it repeatedly, the want to um, get married to a rich sim. And so I try to, you know, to meet Malcolm. And they met, but mm, they didn't really like each other, they didn't have any balls or anything. But then, um, out of nowhere, she had the want to... Um, you know, fall in love with Malcolm. So they fell in love, but mm, not much. I mean, I don't think she wants to do anything else with him for the moment. Maybe she will want to get married eventually, but right now she just wants to build up some skills and meet more people. It's Dina. Now, Tony, as I say, he's uh, 14, he's in high school. He's doing, well, Okay, C+. Plus. He's a popularity scene, um, Gemini. Romantically, he's not been with anyone yet. He doesn't seem interested in dating yet. Maybe 
melody would be a potential of interest. Well, I'm not saying this, but everyone here at the moment is straight. I have the e um, ACR, so I have a chance of being gay at 20%, I think, I don't remember. But for the moment, all of my teenagers are um, straight. I, you know the game randomizes the, the mod randomizes the um, sexual orientation of the sims. So, yeah, at the moment he's not interested in any romantic um, interactions, not like his father. As you can see here, Dina and Don, his half-brother um, of Bella and Homer Lothario, but they don't know, these two don't know that they have another brother, though I think the resemblance is you know, striking. Um, let's go play. What happened here? This is broken? What's going on? Now, so for the condo, um, yeah, pretty much the same, not many change. Oh, this is a gift. This was funny. This was a gift from Dustin to Dina when they went out on a, on a date. And he gave her a bottle of champagne. Why not? Um, I made an extra... I always do <laughs> this. I made an extra, you know, path here. Mm, because I, I, it was weird that even when guests are coming of it, they are downstairs watching or whatever, having to go upstairs, go through their rooms to go to the, to the bathroom. Meh. And also... Uh, baths are okay, but I always, if I if I can, I want to have like showers. So when they have to do a quick shower, because baths take so long. Look at you, Dina, having a drink at seven a.m. Very nice. Uh, oh, she wants to go on a date. I'm gonna lock that for her. Um, now I have to decide who she wants to go on a date. Maybe she will roll want. To let me know, because here are the three potential dates. Anyway, this is Dina Caliente and her son Tony. So now we're gonna go to the um, uh, apartments um, section of town to have a look at Nina. So she's forty-five too, and she's just had a um, a son. Um, Giovanni Caliente with where is it? Where is him? Mm -mm. Armando Cox. This is the father. Um, Nina is working in the um, Slaka career as a party DA, level five. She's doing quite well um, for herself. However, she doesn't have a lot of money. He's struggling you know, to make ends meet, but she's, you know, she's holding, she's holding on. Um, Armando, mm, they've, you know, the last time they went on a date that this happened, um, he was so pleased with how the date went that he gave her this gift, this vase, which actually, why are you crying about? Sorry, let us. Oh, yeah, he needs to. Yeah, I have the. This thing here. It's starting to snow. Mm. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't potty train your child, you know, outside when it is snowing. But it's the Sims, they don't feel anything, right? They're not real. <laughs> anyway. Um, so Armando gave her this vase w that costs almost 4,000 simoleons and that was great. I keep it here um, just in case, you know, things w um, go really, really bad, like if she cannot pay um, her rent or when, or for when Giovanni is older and, you know, needs a bed and all that stuff, we can always sell this vase and and get some money from it. So now you're okay? Yes. Give him a 
Okay, pick him up. Don't leave it. Don't leave him here in the snow. And get a bottle for him. Um, Giovanni is two years old. Um, he's just become a a toddler. Is a Libra, which means that she's uh, he's gonna become a romance same as his mother. So that is gonna be interesting. Um, she's been with a few sims Don, of course um, this one, this one this one, that's the father of her child uh, Benjamin Long, who used to live I don't think he lives here anymore but he used to live here or here, I don't remember but then, you know, more playable sims moved here so he left um, her neighbors are here. Angela Pleasant lives in this apartment. And Alexander Goth lives here, but just momentarily. He um, returned from college this round. And he's here temporarily. When his turn comes, he's going to, to buy a, a home. He's got uh, some money from the Goth mm, fortune that Cassandra gave to him and so he's gonna buy his own place like a nice house he has money to to live somewhere better than here and then Kristen Stratton is living here uh, who's this? oh the landlord okay why are you going outside is knowing okay read them a book yeah oh leave me alone but she's a good mother actually She's doing, she's doing fine. I didn't know how it was gonna go, but she's sweet with Giovanni. Yeah, she's gonna read him a book. That's nice. And um, yeah, so this is um, Nina Caliente and Giovanni Caliente. And oh yeah, Armando is paying child support. So this is good also, because she's in level 5, but she's not earning that much money. You know, this like her career doesn't pay that much. She's earning only 190 simoleons per day, and she's off three days a week, which is not good. But anyway, so this is Nina Caliente, and we're going to leave it here for the moment. So we've met the Goth family and the Caliente sisters and their kids. So next time we're gonna meet the and see how they've been the Pleasants and Broke family. Right now Brandy is uh, by herself. All the children have gone and so we're gonna see all three of them. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.